just do you. Yeah. This is one of my things my friends always say. Do you, boo? Do, do you. But like, obviously, as you get older, you're like, meh. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Hey guys, I'm Bola. I am Buzz. And welcome to Eat Sleep Shop. Hi guys. Oh my god, I haven't filmed in such a long time. It's been so long. long. We haven't been together for like forever. I know, right? You've had work, I've had exams, so it's been like life is crazy, our char. But don't worry, we're gonna come with the videos and we're back on it. We're back on it. We're gonna create a um Sketch, yeah, schedules. Yeah, schedule, yeah. Whenever I have any time off, which is like never, <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. So yeah. today we're gonna come with a new series for you guys. Yeah. We're gonna call it the Chubby Girls Guide, <laughs> cause we're chubby. Yeah. And people are gonna be like, oh, no, you're not, or you're not even fat. Look, okay, so what? Okay, let's for the first What's video, your definition? To me, someone who's chubby is someone who's got a bit of chub. Like I got chub. Yeah. Like I got chubs I got everywhere. Chubs, yeah. Like I got, I got a bit chubs. Of my, arm, my stomach belly. is like, not flat. I, yeah. But it's alright. It's because all right. we've it's we've been battling for like the last year to lose this weight that we've gained. And you know what? We just yeah. thought we've been enjoying I think it's just because we've been enjoying life. Yeah. Like we've been eating what we want, when we not want, gymming. How much we want. Yeah. Whenever we want. So we're gonna spend this first video on what's our first topic? Confidence. The Chubby Girls Guide to Confidence. confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so cheesy. <laughs> and to be fair, what we're gonna say is pretty much what we'd say to anybody at any yeah, size. At any size, yeah. But we just thought we'd just tailor it to the chubby girls. Yeah. So I think we should probably define like, conf I feel like everyone thinks they're confident, but like, to me, you're not really confident until like you own who you are yeah. and nobody can tell you nothing or say anything to you that would make you question yourself. Yeah. Like you just know who you are, you know what you're about, you accept who you are as well. And I feel like that's really hard to do, especially when you're a lot younger. Like I'm mid twenties now, so like it took me a long, if anyone ask anybody, like it I was- I was like the shyest, most like quiet, just anything. chilling person because I just didn't feel confident to just be myself. But like obviously as you get older, you're like, meh, don't care, don't care. Don't care, <laughs> just don't care anymore. Don't care. Pretty much. But yeah, so like the first thing I would say is give yourself time to grow yeah like even if you don't feel confident now like just don't force it because you can't force confidence you either have it or you, you don't. don't yeah and i think just don't force it like just learn to like things about yourself yeah. so for me i like i learned to accentuate like my clavicles and stuff because like you can see that shit, do you know what I mean? And it makes me feel like, oh, okay, I don't look as round, if that makes sense. Yeah. So you just find parts about yourself, yourself that you like yeah. and just accentuate accentuate those features. For example, what what do you like about yourself that you accentuate? Um, I'm gonna lie, since I put on weight, I have grown a set of boobs. Yeah, she has. I'm happy about that, because I used to have A cup, now I'm double D, woo! <laughs> <laughs> How much weight did you gain? <laughs> A lot. A but lot. you know what? Like when I was skinny, I'd always be like, I want boobs, I want boobs. And like I feel like in an in like in a weird way I have gotten what I wanted. Yeah, but so, just not in the way that you want you were planning to get it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I'm I'm happy with it and I'm owning it. That's yeah. why I'm wearing this top. Look, get into these. <laughs> My yeah. boobs have stayed the same size. Sorry about that. Yes. Yeah, it's it's real peak romance. But I feel like just Picking out small stuff that you like about yourself and just loving it. Just loving it, yeah. You don't need to, you and those little to... things that you learn to love about yourself, you start, it, it does change who you are on the inside almost yeah. because because you love those things, you're almost like loving a part of yourself yeah. and it kind of rolls on. You're like, oh, okay, I have a bit of a belly, but you know. I like it. It is what so it is. Well. Like I had, I had a lot, I had a lot of people comment on my weight and stuff and it got to the point where I was just like, I don't really, 
care to be honest like the weight doesn't really define me like yeah. what you are on the outside doesn't define you and that's the important thing about confidence confidence comes from the inside so once you start like picking obviously you can pick stuff that you do love about yourself but it doesn't just have to be like physical stuff it can yeah. be like your personality yeah. Yeah. it can be like i'm actually you no know i'm quite funny some people don't realize that they're actually funny i'm funny i said bitch where well, I'm not, I'm not saying I am, because I know I'm not. Everyone says I'm not funny, I get it, I get it. I'm not. I thought she said she was funny, I was no. like... No, I'm just saying generally, some, yeah, like, some, some might pick, yeah, yeah. like, they're being yeah. funny. Okay, funny is not me, like... Like, some people might not be, like, the prettiest people, but they have, like, those kind of personalities where it's like, oh my god, I really like her. But like, then, but then she makes their personality feel... makes them pretty, because I've seen yeah. some pretty people with a disgusting personality, and I'm like, you're not cute. You're not. <laughs> you're not cute, people. No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not cute. But yeah, I think I think that's good. I think that's good for the first. That's the first tip. Yeah. My second tip would be wear the right f size. <laughs> you know what? This pisses me off when you see someone. You know what? Because you know, know what it is. Because if you're chubby, wearing the wrong size we'll makes make it look, worse. It makes you look bigger. It as makes well. you look bigger. Because if you're skinny and you're wearing. A, there's nothing to hang, there's no rolls hanging over it's, yeah. it's fine if you're plus and you're wearing the wrong size you're wearing the wrong size it, that doesn't work but that work plus size goes under chubby um, like I feel like plus size girls have like quite good options now so I feel like they have no issues it's true ASOS curves sometimes I look at stuff and I'm like I've got two things from ASOS curve, you know <laughs> it's, it's oversized but I like it you know like there's actually such good options out there for like plus plus size women like 18 and above and I feel like if they wear anything too tight because a lot of this stuff is like stretchy and like body con yeah, stuff so, stuff that will fit their so figure it, it would well. still fit them quite well even if it was too small if you're chubby and you try to wear a size that's not yours, it's all over. There's no point, there's no point. Do you know what? I had the point when I was deceiving myself. I was size 12 and I was still trying to fit into my size 8 clothes. Don't do, do it. it. <laughs> do not do it. And let me tell you what, you know what, yeah? you just deceiving yourself and that's when you have to come to terms with who you yeah. are. Yeah. Like, I'm size 12, what am I going to do about it? Yeah. Literally. Just wear stuff that fits It's not you. cute. Like, just wear your size. Like, if you've gone to a, from a size 10 to a 14, it is what it is. Where's the 14? It is what it is. You like, don't need to force something that's not you. You don't have to force it. That's not your size. Because you know what's sad? When you get the clothes, you're excited to get them, then you put it on, and you're just like... <laughs> this is depressing. Yeah. You know? So just know what size you are. Own it. Another tip that I would say about confidence and building your confidence is doing stuff outside the box that you're not usually used to doing. Yeah. Whether it be like a new activity or joining a new society if you're at uni or like just putting yourself out there a lot more because it will make you like, it'll make you more comfortable in yourself because you're able to talk to people, different types of people, able to do a certain type of sport. It's like, it's all about interacting with people, which yeah. I think helps your confidence. Yeah. If you're always by yourself, you can like get yourself quite down very easily. You can yeah. like abuse, I'm not gonna lie, you can actually be your own worst enemy. Just yeah. abuse yourself. I think we are like, our, you, our own you, worst enemy. You look rubbish, no one's gonna like you, this, this, this. But as soon as you start going out meeting people, yeah. like meeting people that are kind of like you, like in the like hobbies that you may have. Do you know what it stuff? is? It's like, did you guys ever play Sims? You know when you used to play Sims and you just wanted them to like get on the career level, just build, build career level, you know, have a like, ha they had a partner so you just worry about your partner or whatever. But you know there's always that bar of like, interaction with other people yeah. and like your sim like no matter how good it was on the other things like if it wasn't good on one level it would be affected and it wouldn't be able to progress like that's actually so true about humans like even if you're not like a people person like i'm not a people person but like when i go to work for example and i'm talking to people and stuff like you do underestimate how good that makes you feel because you're yeah. communicating you're yeah. interacting like you're doing something that's just not you in your room chilling. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I do feel like, yeah, go out, meet new people, do new things. Like you never, un you never, you underestimate how much confidence you can build just from building your communication skills and like yeah. your sociability skills and being able to interact with all different kinds of people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then my other tip for confidence, right? Because if you're a chubby girl, is you might feel like, oh, I can't wear this bodycon dress because like it's too this and that, mate. Spanx is your best friend <laughs> how many words is that five words five words 
when I tell you, like, Everyone wears your spanks. favorite celebrities, when they're wear wearing spanks. that dress, there is some sort of shapewear in there. There's Spanx there. Don't Look, be Meg ashamed Megan, of the Megan shapewear. Fox, Spanx. Kim Kardashian, well, we all know that she wears Spanx. Chloe, Spanx. Everybody, um, Spanx. Spanx. Like, much. if you don't wear Spanx, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Because even if you have the greatest body, something to just smooth you out, what's wrong with that? That can help your confidence. I'm just saying. And, and you know what? Sometimes I wear three pairs of spanks at the same. If I'm wearing like a tight, no, I'm being so honest. If I'm wearing like a tight, tight dress and <laughs> I need mean. everything to be smooth, if one's not doing the job, get another one. And they're actually quite affordable. They're like eight pounds. Yeah. You, know, yeah. eight pounds you don't have you know. to get the spanks. You don't have brand. to get to spank. No, because I don't have any. Spanx I don't have a spank. That price tag. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. If you get free, it just, 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 just does a job of one. Yeah. What <laughs> spanks? <laughs> no, you just get one. Even like even stuff like I remember when I got my first spanks from like Peacocks. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's quite, it's Amazon, quite actually affordable. eBay, wherever. Just read the reviews and make sure that it's doing what you want it to do. Mm-hmm. And there's like honestly, like shapewear will really change your life if you're feeling some type of way about your weight. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Or if you just want to smooth yourself out. Yeah. Just to add that, you know, give the, give you whatever is gonna assist you with your confidence, and you feel like you know what well, this might help it a little bit to fake it just for a little while until I'm really like happy. Yeah. Then do it. That's yeah. what I say. Fake it till you make it. With anything, and even if you are confident you in yourself, where's banks? Yeah. Like, why you wouldn't are. you wear banks? I don't understand. They look nice. They, they smooth look out. They smooth everything out. Like your body looks. A <laughs> one. <Succulent. A1>. Juicy. <laughs> Smart. Hey. <laughs> Tantalizing. Tantalizing. It's just beautiful. It just just shapes everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. Just shape everything like that. That's nice. It's just wonderful. So, what's your next tip? My next tip is don't care what other people think about you. Like seriously, the opinions don't matter. Everyone always has something to say. Like everyone's always chatting rubbish, and I feel like. They don't hold a value over your life, to be honest with you. They're not going to add... By them saying what, by them saying what they're going to say, it's not going to add anything to your life. Whether they say, oh my gosh, you look like this, you look like... Okay, good for you. Do you want a cookie? <laughs> like, what do, you, what do you hope to gain from that? Most people that stay stuff just are just trying to state something. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, that's good. Nice. That's good nice. nice. And I feel like as soon as you kind of have that mentality that, you know what, yeah, I love me... I don't really care yeah. what I think about me, to be honest. I think you should just not put value on what other people have to say. Yeah, and don't put such a waiting, like, yeah. oh my, they said this, oh, oh my gosh, oh my God. Oh, oh. I have to change myself now. Like, no. I, mean? I just feel like anyone's going to have an opinion on the way you are. Just be who you are. Just be who you are and just don't care. One thing that I would say is, like, just do you. Yeah. This is one of my things my friends always say. Do you, boo? <laughs> Do you, you? You know who you are, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> so that's and that's one thing that they've adopted recently. And I, you know what? Since they've been saying it, it's been in my head a lot of the times. Like it's so important to do you. Do you? Do you? If that means telling someone else, do you, and you leave them to start chatting shit or whatever, mm. then do you? Yeah. But if if you want to do, like, do you? Everyone could do them. We're all doing each other. Let's do it. Wait. <laughs> Okay, let's. This is you is getting a bit out of control. I'm just getting a bit crazy with it. Don't be a horror. Okay. Close your legs. Close, <laughs> close it up. You close it up. So, like another thing that's quite similar to that is, don't compare yourself. Don't do it. 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 Like for real, that is probably like one of the number one enemies of progress if you start comparing yourself to other people. I do have actually one last tip, which is probably really superficial, but take a lot of selfies. Like just get to love your face yeah. and what you look like. Put a bit of makeup on. If you don't want to put makeup on, it's fine. Put some Natural. contacts in, because I mean, it's live, why not? Everyone wants to do lip fillers and shit now. Why can't I put contacts in? It's not that deep. Anyway, but yeah, do whatever you feel makes you look really cool yeah. and beautiful and what makes you happy. Yeah. Take a pick after pick after pick after pick and post that shit. And you are not defined by your likes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I feel like it has to be said. You Don't define yourself. Defined by, by your likes. As long life. as you like the picture, that's me. I'll it. get twenty likes on a very good day. <laughs> twenty <laughs> likes. Oh my gosh. On a very, very good day. On a very, very good day. 
So but hopefully yeah. these tips were super helpful. And if you guys want us to talk about other things that you feel like you might need help on, then comment in the description bar below. Yeah. But yeah, welcome to our Chubby Girls Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yes. Make sure you... Comment. Like. Subscribe. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I, I can't remember the last one. I can't one. remember the last one. I can't remember it. Oh my God. But yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.